Hey food lovers, welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today we will be going through a one day keto meal prep. And what is keto you ask? Well keto, known as the ketogenic diet, is a high fat, adequate protein and low carbohydrate diet. It helps your body become incredibly efficient when it comes to burning fat. For breakfast, I'll be making over easy eggs, lunch, keto pizza chips, dinner, chicken kebabs and grilled asparagus, and for a snack, apple and vanilla cinnamon yogurt. For a complete five-day keto meal prep, click on the link on this live or in um, Fit Club's bio's Instagram. Let's get started. All right, so I think I'm going to be making our, um, our chicken kebabs first. It does take the longest and it only takes about 15 minutes, which is actually really good. So let's get started on that. I have some chicken breast here that I've already cubed. Um, and so we're going to be making kebabs. What I've also done is I've taken my skewers and I've actually pre-soaked it in advance. And you want to make sure that you pre-soak it because it actually helps the sticks from burning. Did you know that? No. Jerome, did you know that? No, no, I didn't. Okay, yes. Yeah, so, I mean, even if you don't pre-soak it, even five, ten minutes in advance should, should help you. So I have my vegetables here. I'm just going to cube my vegetables. I have some peppers. And these are the peppers that I actually have on hand. You can use any vegetables you'd like, actually, but you want to choose vegetables that are lower in carbs, like, um, like peppers, for example, um, mushrooms. Um, you know, you kind of want to avoid maybe tomatoes. Tomatoes might have a little bit more carbs, but it's not the end of the world, right? So we're going to use some peppers. And this is what they had in the store and it's pretty I, I like my food colorful don't you drew yes i do yeah you, because we actually eat with our eyes and mm -hmm. if your food looks boring or if it's always green or always brown or beige you know it gets boring so it's nice to have some variety and plus i really like peppers okay so we're just gonna I don't know, roughly chop these. They're going to be skewered so it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I also, Jerome, what kind of mushrooms, I mean, what kind of vegetables do you like? Well, I like eggplant. Right? Eggplant? Uh, yeah, I like, I eat a lot of eggplant. Which okay. Is... okay, no eggplant, Jerome. No, no, no eggplant today. So, you, I need uh, notice on eggplant. Yeah. <laughs> so asparagus, I like asparagus too. Asparagus, yeah. okay. Um, beefy vegetables, I like the uh, bitter melon. You like bitter? Oh, I uh, like bitter melon I too. Like, I like bitter melon. So, yeah. Bitter melon's actually, um, it's a very Asian vegetable. Yeah. You see that in a lot of Asian soups mm -hmm. and stir fries. You, it is quite uh, an acquired taste because it is bitter, but that's why uh, we like to cook in broths and yeah. have it with some meats, and it's just so good. And it, like I'm told, it helps with sickness. I don't know if that's true or not. Something my mom always told me to make sure yeah. I eat my vegetables, but. I think I'm the only one in my family that actually likes bitter melon. That's right. Okay. I like the bitter melon leaves and the, uh, the fruit itself too. So. Bitter melon leaves? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, I've so. always just had just the bitter melon, not yeah. the actual leaves, but... With, with the bitter melon, I would, um, I would put it on an egg and bitter melon together. Okay. Yeah. And some garlic in it. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so, Jerome, okay. you just, you got to go on the show. You really do. Seriously, right? I'm Jerome and I always talk about food together. He always tells me about all these new things that he's made and stuff. Well, cook for me, Jerome. Just cook. One of these days, a special episode with Jerome and Yes, Mary. yes. <laughs> Guys, if you're watching, please, please convince Jerome to like be a guest on the show. It's really not that bad. No. I'm always a guest on the you're, show. You're, you know what? Okay, Jerome, I think you need your own microphone. I really do. We have access to it. Yeah. Okay, so you said you like asparagus? Yeah. Okay, I have asparagus. Perfect. Okay, so, oh, you know, here, fine, I'll, I'll cut some asparagus for you. <laughs> I don't have room on my cutting board, but I'll do it for you, Jerome. Did you eat already? No, not yet. Okay. Just woke up. Just woke up? No, you didn't. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna take your meat, and you just wanna alternate. Actually, let's do two. Get some extra protein. So, meat. Some vegetables, some more meat again. Right, I cut them small because I wanted them to cook. So you got your mushroom, some more meat, and I don't know, just make it look pretty. Alternate the colors. Oh, geez. Oh my gosh. 
Jerome, why yeah, do you yeah, like well, asparagus? Yeah, Jeez. Oh, there, yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, I, I would probably put asparagus on too. But I actually like to load mine up with lots of meat. Lots of meat. Lots of meat. I'm trying to eat actually less meat. Ask me why. I, I actually don't know why. I just feel like, you know, vegetables, it's just natural and yeah. it's good for you. Yeah. Okay, so this one is, we'll just do a couple more. Kathy Bodhi said, do it. I will work the camera. Just say, yes, All right, Kathy, okay. It's a deal. <laughs> deal. Okay, Kathy, when you're not at the lake, <laughs> you know, message us. <laughs> I think Kathy's in uh, Regina right now. Is she? Wow. Yes, Kathy, how is Regina? Let us know. I saw that she made a post about um, being at the mall, mask free. They, I think they took that out. You don't have to wear a mask. Mm, wow. So I think Manitoba, we're slowly getting there. We're not quite there yet, but um, there's actually a restart program. What's it called? 4321. Something, something like that. Okay, someone, what is it called? The re 4321. Restart. Is it restart? I don't, I don't think I it's know. restart. I heard, I heard about it. So. I, I heard about it yesterday th through my sisters because we, we all hung out together finally, right? Yeah. yeah which was the first time it was nice to spend time with family and not have to like worry about like who you're seeing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do a couple more. Maybe I should put more vegetables. I think vegetables are good. I was just saying I, <laughs> I wanted to eat more vegetables, but you know, what? actually it's funny when I make the stuff on Neri's kitchen, mm -hmm. Jerome eats it all. <laughs> <laughs> I make this for him, not for me. It's for him. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we'll do a couple more. So how was your weekend, Drew? It's great. Um, Have you done the ketogenic diet? No, I haven't. Tell me about it. Okay, so I've done the ketogenic diet. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, it's, you know, higher fats, moderate proteins, mm -hmm. um, low carb. Mm -hmm. And when I say low carb, you want to be under, what was it, 50 grams net carbs. Right. So as you can tell, we're we are we have some carbs here, some vegetable carbs, but it is lower. Right. Um, so that's what it is. And I actually found some great successes doing the keto diet. I did it for about two weeks when I was um, this was nine years ago and mm -hmm. I lost 10 pounds and I loved it. Like I loved everything about it, but I really did miss my uh, my bread and I missed a lot of other things. So I did it for a trip. Uh, I went to Dominican Republic with my friend and I really want to look good in a bikini. So that's why I went on the diet mm -hmm. and um, I had some good experiences. I really did. Uh, I was really, it didn't take very long for me to go into keto. It took me about four days or so. I had these pea strips. Like I was going to the extreme and you don't have to get pea strips or anything, but I did it because I wanted to see um, like how long I would get into ketosis, right? Oh, Which is your body producing ketones. And it didn't take very long. So I would recommend it if you wanted to um, just look good for a photo or look good for an event or, you know, just see some results fast. I haven't done it since because, like I said, I really like my carbs and I really like my desserts and um, I like, you know, ice cream and stuff. I have a sweet tooth, but I think I'm actually going to do this again. And I know that there's always some popular trends here and there, which is why we want to show a little bit of a keto diet. Perfect. Yeah. Nice. I might try that. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's summertime, so I'm, I'm going to try it. It's actually easy because you can make anything a keto diet. Just take out the carbs, right? Just omit it. Okay. So I think that's good enough. We're going to stop there. And then I'm just going to wash my hands here. Always make sure you wash your hands. So you can barbecue this, but I don't actually have a barbecue. So I'm going to use my Pampered Chef air fryer. Wow. Yay. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to spray this first, lightly spray this. And then just put the skewers here like this. They actually have some of those um, skewer sticks that come with it, but I don't, I don't have it. So I need to get that. I think that should be on my list. So I'm going to put this in my air fryer. Just like that. Oh, hang on. My sticks were too long. 
There we go. Okay, I'm just going to press custom. Let's do, I don't know, 18 minutes. I'm just guessing here at 400. Okay, now we're going to make our keto pizza chips. It's actually really simple too. Since I'm using my Pampered Chef air fryer, I'm going to be using my oven this time. I'd, I'd rather use my air fryer, but it's being used. So it's really simple. A couple ingredients. I have some pepperoni here. We're just going to line it up on a uh, sheet of parchment paper. And this already has quite a bit of fat, so you don't need to actually grease your parchment paper, but you can if you wanted to. I'm not going to because, like I said, it's already fatty. But when I did the keto keto diet, mm. I actually ate uh, quite a bit of cheese, whole eggs. Mm -hmm. I had lots of chicken breast. It was so it was actually really easy to follow. I had no issues whatsoever. I had yogurt. Um, I had some lots of nuts. Okay, so I have my pepperoni here. We're gonna sprinkle it with some just some regular cheese. This is about a quarter cup of cheese that I have. And this is actually two servings of keto chips, or yeah, two servings. So you want to sprinkle it like that. And really, it doesn't have to be pretty because this is just going to melt anyways, right? Have you, do you like pizza, Jerome? Yes, I do. Um, Who doesn't like pizza? Who doesn't like pizza with pineapple? I actually, yeah, I, I really do like pineapple because like I like sweet stuff. And I think when you bite into that juicy pineapple and it's juicy and just, the juice comes out. It's so good. Where's the pineapple today? Okay. Pineapple <laughs> is being omitted today because it has carbs and sugar and it will kick you, you out go. of ketosis. Perfect. So now, nope. you know. now you know. Pineapple does belong on pizza, but it does not belong in a keto diet. You can probably eat like one piece of pineapple. <laughs> okay, so that is good. And then we're just going to sprinkle it with some parm, just a little bit of parm. This is about, uh, again, a quarter cup. Hi, Jet. And then we're going to bake this in the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes. Okay, use it all. Okay, so I'm going to pop this in here. I've already preheated it just to save some time. There. Okay, breakfast. What do you eat for breakfast, Jerome? Uh, eggs. Of course, who doesn't course, eat who eggs? Doesn't eggs, uh, bacon, of course. You know what? We're gonna not have the bacon because it doesn't fit my macros. Absolutely. <laughs> it would set me above for my caloric intake. So I'm just gonna spray this with some cooking spray. Okay, I don't actually know the technique on how to make eggs over easy. Do you put it on low heat or high heat? I don't know. I always put it on medium high heat. We're just gonna wait for this to um, heat up. But eggs are my favorite. Like it's so easy to make and it's so healthy. And and the yolk, the yolk is really good for you. Actually, there's more nutrients in the yolk than there is in the whites. Did you know that? No. Wow. I just eat eggs. You just eat eggs? That's right. If I had to choose one, I'd rather eat the yolk over the egg. Gotcha. But sometimes I'm, I really like the hard boiled eggs. Yep. Yeah. Like There's certain part. ways on how to, okay, I like hard boiled eggs too. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to peel the skin. Oh. I don't know how to boil eggs. That's why I don't really eat hard boiled eggs very often. There's a certain way, but yes. like I just, the skin, the shell just gets stuck to the egg and I lose half the egg. So this is how I make eggs. I just cover it. You know, some people put water on it. I've never used water on it. Actually, Terry uh, Swidinski was telling me that she cooks her eggs with water, mm -hmm. that she doesn't use any spray because she doesn't need to, right? But I've never tried it, but I, I would assume it's similar to that of like poached eggs, right? Yes. Well, I hope you like this keto meal. Um, Jerome. Yes. So. so I cover my eggs just because I feel like it will kind of cook evenly and it'll cook it on top too. You don't have to. I just prefer to do it. I feel like it it um, speeds it up. 
but you want to make sure that you watch it because you don't want like a boiled, like yeah. the, the yolk to be thick and then it's all disgusting after. So there's actually, you can put this on low and just keep it covered and then it'll make it over easy, but I'm not going to do that today. I think that looks good. Okay, I'm going to try to flip this. Okay, you're too close. I'm getting all nervous. <laughs> too close to Rome. Ah. There. Oh, see, that wasn't bad. Eggs over easy. That's how I like it anyways. Put some salt. And then let's put some pepper. Oh. Pepper. Some people like it sunny side. I, I don't mind it sunny side, but if I have it sunny side, I like to have bread with it. Yeah. So uh, because it, we're doing the keto diet, we're not going to have bread. We're not allowed bread. Too much carbs, so I like it a little bit cooked. So this should be okay. In the morning time too, I like those little sausages. Oh, sausages? Yeah. So. You see, with the keto diet, mm. you... Um, People think you can eat sausages, you can eat all these high fattening foods, yeah. which is, you can, mm -hmm. but you still have to watch your calories, right? You still, it's calories in, calories out. You don't want to go over calories. Otherwise, that means you gain weight, right? That's right. Okay. There, I did not break the yolk. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you know, eggs is actually really hard to make. Um, Gordon Ramsay would teach people on how to make eggs, especially omelets and French omelets. So there's a certain way, and it's hard to make it. Um, and then, let me just clean up. For dessert, we're going to have, guess what, Jerome? Ice cream? No, not yogurt. ice cream. Yogurt. Uh, yogurt. <laughs> yes, let's take away that yogurt, and this week, another yogurt. It's apple this time. Yogurt is approved. There you go. I got this from Costco and I mean it's pretty good. You can use vanilla yogurt if you'd like, but we're just gonna stick with plain yogurt. Say hello to our 15 viewers. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Who's online? And we got um, Nancy. Nancy, hey Nancy. And Sheridan and Sandy. Jane and Sheridan and Sandy? Yeah, we have more. So, yeah. Hello, Nancy. Hey, guys. Oh, Sandy. Nancy Laverne. Oh, Nancy, I haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been? Okay. So, our last meal is our snack, and it will be about a cup. Always measure things. So, I'm just going to... Oh, you know, I'll just get my measuring cup. It's probably easier that way. You always want to measure things so you can put it into your MyFitnessPal. So let's get a cup of yogurt. This is plain Greek yogurt that I'm using. Of course, you can use just regular plain yogurt. It doesn't have to be Greek, but I like Greek because there's more protein, obviously, right? Just do that. And then I'm actually going to sweeten my yogurt again. This is 100% organic stevia, stevia extract, and it's super sweet. That way it, it doesn't taste very sour, right? Okay, so let's mix that, and then we're gonna go and chop up our apple. Make sure you leave the skin on. I like the skin because it adds extra fiber. How are my chips doing? Let's take a look. Okay, I'm just gonna turn it off. Should be good. So you wanna be very careful when you cut your apple, because you don't wanna cut your hand pretty common to cut your hands but you know I've been I just been cutting it like this for years I know where my hands are 
I've seen chefs actually. They can chop. Have you seen them? They chop so fast with their eyes closed. Crazy. Every day. Every day. Okay, I'm just gonna pull my chips out. Let it cool. Just put it here. Cool for now. You want it to cool a little bit because then it's going to harden up and be become like chips, right? Okay, so we're. I'm using an ambrosia apple here, but you can use any apple you'd like. I like ambrosia because I find it very crispy. And then you just want to chop it on top. Do you like apples, Jerome? I do. We actually bought this apple tree. It was about a hundred and I don't know, fifty bucks from. Well, now, I don't know. <laughs> I, I think it might be Home Depot. I'm not too sure. But our apples are growing nicely. So I can't wait until we can pick our apples. And they're not crab apples. They're, they're actual wow. apples. Nice. Yeah. So I'm using only half an apple here. And then we're going to finish it with some cinnamon. 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 No. Here it is. Yes, Jet. Uh, no, we're not making noodles. No big noodles. Oh, noodles? Jet, say hi to everyone. I have Jet joining me today. Nothing smells like noodles? No, Jet, you're probably smelling cheese. <laughs> oh. So I'm just going to check up on my skewers. Take a look. They look good, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually going to. I'm actually gonna put some barbecue sauce on it. So I'm using this, um, the sugar-free, sweet and spicy sauce I got from Gorilla Jack. I really like this barbecue sauce, but you can use any barbecue barbecue sauce you like. But you just want to make sure that you look at the sugar content, and it's not. There's not a lot of carbs in it. So I'm just going to do this quickly now. Because we want to add some flavor to here. I guess I should have done this earlier. And this should be done soon. Look at that. That's... Yeah, look at that. Just touch my hands. I have no feelings in my hands anymore. <laughs> I guess people that cook often, they don't have feeling. So it's funny. Uh, do you remember doing the show with Lori McDonald? Mm -hmm. We went to her house yes. and she was a chef that was on Neri's kitchen. Yes. She would actually touch things with her hands and I would say, Lori, aren't like aren't your hands burning? And she just doesn't No, she, no, she was anything. fine, doesn't feel anything. Okay, so these should be done in probably another five minutes. But I want these to be like really nice and toasted. And look at that. Oh, I just made a mess here. Okay, almost done. Let's wash up here. Let's see how our chips are doing. I think they look good. We can start plating them. Okay, so I should probably get my other spatula. This spatula is from Pampered Chef and I love it because it's so small and it just picks up everything. This was actually a gift that I got from Kathy Bodhi. Yes, Kathy Bodhi. So see what I mean? How I said you didn't really have to grease it because it just... Like there's so much fat already. Let me just cut this, maybe that's better. Right. Or I guess you could just eat it in one big chip. How do you want to eat it, Jerome? Just another. I like it in little pieces. So. Oh, you like little pieces? Yeah, with time. Okay. There. If you wanted, you could also sprinkle some 
parsley on it or Italian seasoning. But we're not going to do that. I've seen people actually put these on salads. Mm -hmm. Or it's called cheese crips just on salads. And it's really just Parmesan cheese. So easy to make. But yes, actually RJ was saying, let's do the keto diet. So I think we're going to try the keto diet in about a month's time. So I'm really looking forward to it, actually. Okay. And I love, I love cream in my coffee. So it's just, as long as I have coffee, I'm good. It's a funny story. Okay, did you know that an apple actually wakes you up more than a cup of coffee? Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Just saying, I still would rather drink coffee, because coffee is life, right? But yeah, it's true. An apple wakes you up more. Go, there you go, guys. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. We're just going to go wait for our kebabs. I think it should be done. Let's take a look. Oh, two more minutes. I like it really charred, though. Um, what do you think? Okay. Well, wait. Well, Jerome wants it cooked a little bit more. It's already cooked, but he wants it more. Yes, Jet. Jet's a guest today. <laughs> But you know what? So with the keto diet, you can have vegetables. You can. You want you want to stick to um, low sugar vegetables. So these are pretty low sugar. Spinach. Spinach will be your best friend. I remember eating lots of spinach. Um, what else did I eat on the keto? Oh, I ate lots of dry cottage cheese. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I would have dry cottage cheese with some cinnamon and stevia and some nuts and just mix it up. It's actually quite tasty. I know that... Um, Shelly Karpiak actually likes cottage cheese because she would put cottage cheese with her fruit, mix it up so then the juices kind of blend in with the cottage cheese and put it on those, um, what's it called, those brogies. Mm. So that's something cool too. And the brogies you can find at Sobeys. So Shelly, if you're watching, I haven't seen you make a post about your cottage cheese brogi in a while. <laughs> We actually had Shelly on a guest, um, as a guest, probably about, was it a month ago, Jerome? I think so. Yeah? About a month ago already, yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, let's plate our kebabs. Oh, perfect timing. It's done, too. There. Oh, this was hot. There. <laughs> Okay, I was just saying, my fingers, I, I don't feel anything. Well, this was actually pretty hot. So, there. <laughs> okay, and there you guys have it. Look how easy that was to make. And it only took me about, I don't know what, 20 minutes or so? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me on Neri's Kitchen once again. If you're interested in our five-day meal prep, just click on the link below or check our, um, our link in our Instagram page. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Yeah! <laughs>